Hello, Jamalov here and welcome back to Dark Souls 2 again and my blind playthrough where my attempts on the Spider Queen, Duke's dear Freya, continue. I've had two really good attempts, almost, almost won the fight, but uh, close enough is not close enough, so uh, I will have to keep on going. Um, I think my plan on equipping the old sun ring, which damages the enemies around me when I'm damaged, is really helping. But I really shouldn't get uh, shouldn't get damaged on the way. Still, just to demonstrate how it works. Um, I got a good start last time killing the small ones by the door, so that's what I will try. And after that is done, then it's just a matter of uh, staying alive and uh, I think also keeping the keeping the number of the number of the little spiders or small spiders under control. Doing the beam attack. I go target the head, but hit the protective shielding. You do it again. Let's go and kill a small one here. I knew that was coming, but I was too close. And standing up, I die. I, I just can't I just can't get hit by that attack from the from the boss. Um. Yeah, it's um, it's a tough fight, particularly because it takes such a long time. I guess if you if you have a really powerful weapon and you uh, or pyromancy or magic or whatever and you you just unleash on the on the boss's face when you uh, when you get the chance uh, the fight gets a whole lot easier but uh, I don't have the luxury with my plus five halberd here although I think oh now that I found the one large titanite shard I might be able to go for a plus six plus six and if if it uses chunks after that, I could even have a plus seven halberd. Why didn't I do that? Yeah, I forgot. I forgot the large titanite shard that I picked up. You know what? I will. I will give my best shot here. Hopefully, finishing her off. But if not, I will go upgrade my halberd. Drink here and run in. Then we wait a bit. Hit, hit. Take the shield out. She will do the beam attack or not. There it comes. That was the <laughs> dumbest move. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, that that was my that was my best shot, but uh, it didn't go so well. That explosion there that that uh, little spider died who killed me. Uh, was the old sun ring? Yeah, but let's let's go and uh, see if I can get a even more badass halberd. I 
think I have some chunks, and I do now have I enough. I knew you'd be around soon. And I have enough of the... No, I don't. It needs four. Oh, man. That's a shame. Huh. Don't waste my time. I hope there will be a merchant at some point who sells the shards. I'm, I'm really, I'm really struggling because I can't, I can't try out different weapons. I would really like to try different weapons, test them out a bit, see, see what I like. But uh, Mr. Helper is by far doing the most damage for me, and, and I really like the helper, that is my uh, main weapon. I would really like to try the other weapons, and I could, if I could just use some souls to buy the titanite shards, or even farm them. There hasn't even been any spots to farm them. And, uh, that's, uh, well, that's, uh, that's the, that's the conscious, conscious choice from the, from, uh, FromSoft this time, as far as the design goes. And, uh, that includes... That includes the enemies not respawning infinitely. After you kill them, that's 10-15 uh, times. They uh, don't come back. Um, so even if there was a farming opportunity, you, uh, you would have a hard time farming because uh, you can't do that infinitely. So it's still limited, but uh, having, having this limited number of shards at the beginning um, that uh, that forces you to choose choose a weapon and stick with it until you get uh, get to the upgrades so you can have to have to know to your main weapon at the beginning of the game almost and uh, that is uh, that is something that even the most experienced players don't necessarily know what weapon they want to go with that time. Of course, some do, they have a specific weapon in mind, but... Uh, how did you hit me with that? Come on! That kind of, that kind of fights and starts, that is, that is discouraging. In the fight, fight against the rat, when I could just uh, run, run two steps and go through the, go through the mist again, that was okay. But this one, this is a minute, minute and a half run here. And then die in the actual fight in 15 seconds that's uh, that's more discouraging than just losing <laughs> see you just like okay yes now I, now I can fight the boss again and then no you can't you're dead uh, yeah I'm actually timing it this time so it's one minute right about now and then it's still 15, 20 seconds from here. Yeah, it's almost minutes and a half. About... Well, it's actually pretty darn close. It's minute and a half. Just uh, at least counted from the death. want to do that attack. Oh, 
Oh, hell. <laughs> oh. Getting snapped in the back by the small one and then the beam got me. In my very first attempt, the first real attempt, um, I wasn't focusing on the small ones at all. And I still did okay. <laughs> Not a good run back this time. If I just focused on the, well, I don't know. It's, it was it was kind of working. It was kind of working what I was doing. I had that good one good attempt in between. Especially when I got more than more than two or three at the door from the small ones. Quite low on maximum hit points here too. So let's not kill them at the door this time. Was that was that the beam, or was it that little one? <laughs> Yet another 15 second attempt. to really focus on the boss this time. It was the minimum damage from the fall, but I'm nearly... I'm nearly dead from dying. Restoration is actually if I put the ring of binding on my maximum hit points is much bigger because the effect from the deaths is smaller and uh, I'll have more hit points, more room for error there. And I'll probably have to use human effigy soon ish again. Maybe I should at least be close to them when uh, when that happens, so uh, they uh, they get damaged by the sun ring. Wow. 
Wow. That was a direct hit. I... I thought when he started uh, started that attack, hitting with, the f hitting with the legs, I thought that never hits in the front. I was just happy he wasn't doing that, uh, that snap attack with those claws. <laughs> oh man. Hey, shiny. Hello, Will the Dusk Herb. You know what? I will take a look at uh, so that there's some kind of uh, some kind of herb. It was that one, but uh, hmm. using uh, using some specific damage. I wonder how long those l lasts. I haven't tried them at all. So I could try, and I could even try to throwing knives. Let's try lightning. Let's try lightning. Uh, if it's if I can do little extra damage from it, it might be might be worth it. I I haven't really wanted to use those because I uh, I don't know I don't know any place to buy them, at least in uh, infinite supply. So when I only have two, when I only have two gold pine resin, I don't really feel like using it on a boss when I'm not sure that I'm able to do it. If uh, if I knew exactly that uh, okay I'm, I can I can deal with this boss and uh, using the gold pine resin will uh, will help me do it faster but here I uh, I might die almost uh, almost immediately so I will have to take my drink here the gold pine resin here. Out effect. The effect is nice. And I paid the price. I thought I have time for two swings. I think she's doing this attack because I'm so far away. Exact. That's good. Nice. Old Sundering did some damage. Shit. Lightning is gone. Lightning is gone, but it did good damage. Really good. Definitely worth it. Scares me there.
There's a lot of the little ones. A lot of them. Please do the beam attack. It was that close! I still have to deal with these ones. Is that the soul? Great soul embraced. I don't even have time for fist bump here because the game is trolling me like this. Ah, damn you spiders. Lightning into weapon. The lightning into weapon definitely helped. <laughs> like a dream, I did it. So this is where the soul was. Oh, right. Now that all the small ones are gone as well... <laughs> I didn't even have time to yell yes or anything. But I am happy. Yes! Yes! Ooh. Let's uh let's go for a joy as well. Yes, 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 yes. There's a way in here, I see. Oh man, I'm a... Uh, I'm a little... Uh, the what? Are you Duke? Wait! I wasn't even thinking about it! Duke's Archives. Oh, he has a back on me. First I thought I'll, I'll meet the duke here. Brightstone key. Fragment branch of yore. So I can turn some... Someone stoned into... Being again. What was that ring? Increase stark defense. Okay. Let's put that one on. And, uh, Hmm. Yeah. Duke's dear Freya. Looks like a compass. Is 
Is that a bonfire? So to get to a bonfire I need to fight. That's got it. Holy shit, that was strong hit. Okay. So that's how we're going to play. Eat that! That was possibly the most satisfying backstab I have ever done. Vengarl's armor, gloves and boots. This bonfire is mine. Primal bonfire lit. Primal bonfire was rekindled. What? Did I have a choice? Well, at least I didn't, it didn't consume me. Return to the far fire. I can't even rest here like I normally could. Okay, now now things are getting really interesting with this lore thing. I, because I now realized the Duke reference. The Vrithin Ruins Keeper. The written ruin is an ancient thing whose shadow remains cast over the land. Zaldora is a place burdened by terrible misdeeds and those who remained there were transformed beyond recognition. Duke. That's... That's gotta be a reference to that Duke. I don't know. Is it? And what was that gear I picked up now? Rangians. No, there was no helm. Vengarl's armor. Vengarl was known as a raging deadly warrior. Even Ferocious Lion Knights, a medley crew of rapid fighters, kept him at arm's length. Ferocious Vengarl of Forossa. This Forossa is coming, uh, coming often here in this... Uh, it was also in the Strong Lake one, wasn't it? Maybe into armor, Strong Lake mail. Well, no, no, it was not there. Ah, interesting. But I now have two great souls. Um, and I got myself the Brightstone key, but was there any doors there that were locked? Maybe one? The eccentric Lord Zeldora, known for his fascination with spiders, built a town and a personal fortune by mining Brightstone. Ah, no, no, it's not the Duke. The Lord Lord Zeldora is called Duke. Ah, probably not the same Duke's archives I was thinking about. The soul and the curse are one and the same. Your soul has grown stronger still. I only hope it brings you what you wish. Hmm. That was interesting comment. What do you mean? For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead. But only one step closer to hollowing. Not all undead are hollows. But all hollows were once undead. Hmm. Let me... Let me go shopping first. Let 
let's see. Hello. You again? <laughs> we call this place Majula. Not too special, if you ask me. All right. Do you have any, uh, any new stuff? Uh, you have those things. You sell the throwing knives. Throwing knives are actually pretty badass in this. Uh, I could buy some of them just uh, just because I can. And uh, what is this gear you are selling? Uh, I mean this one. Lanavir is the farthest land to the south and follows a strict edict isolationism. The rare visitor from Lanafir is always a little odd. Raises item discovery. Thank you kindly. No. No. Thank you. So that's like the gold serpent ring of this game. Raises item discovery. Oh, it's the one with the monocle. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much. I wonder if the armorer has uh, upgraded his wares, and I will. I will go take a look at the map. Hello. I'm glad to see you safe. T take a look at my wares. Hmm. I have a feeling I will need to buy something from you again to upgrade your wares. And uh, I could buy my old favorite elite knight armor now that, uh, now that I can afford it. So let's do that. No, not, not 11 armors. There we go. Maybe that will make you happy. Thanks very much. Do come again. I will. I hope you upgrade your wares again. It worked once. Let's compare. As a plus four, the knight's armor is better than, the, than that one, but I wonder how they are otherwise. Interestingly, Interestingly, the Elite Knight... Wait a minute. The Elite Knight's armor has less boys. Well, of course, I have, I have upgraded mine already, but... That is interesting. Hmm. And also with the items, because there is that uh, physical defense status. Uh, this is now... so all the armor is scaling as well. Uh, kind of total... the total defense... Total defense scales, all of them. I don't know how that exactly works, but anyway. Now let me see about those fires here. Yes, look at this. When I killed... Well, now on the way I killed the... Killed the Scorpioness and then, uh, then Freya. And now there's a third flame. Even more flames have appeared. Yeah, I noticed. I don't know what causes it. You are not much of a cartographer, are you? But there is something greatly comforting about that flame. It seems to fulfill something very precious, deep within the soul. Something essential. Hmm. Indeed. Mm. Do I really only have the lost sinner to fight right now? I 
think so. I fought the rats in the doors of Pharos. And doors of Pharos remind me that there were at least two. Two places to use the contraption or the lockstone in the Lost Bastille. So uh, you know what, I will uh, go there right now before I end this video. And then on the next one I will go and fight the lost sinner again. That will be uh, that will be interesting. Okay, so when I go down here I think there was a dog here. I heard it. More importantly, there was this. Yeah. Let's use one. Ah, there it is. I remember seeing a message here about the illusory wall. So this was... Belfry Luna? Ooh, this was totally... I thought I'd find... Now the real fight begins. Uh, let me go check the other one first. Now, I thought I'd head into some secret room. But no. <coughs> now let me... Uh, if I only remember where the other one was... You, you sure can blow yourself up. Um, where was that one lockstone place? Missions of treasure. I remember seeing a message there about that before. Now I think the, the other lockstone was further ahead in the Alright, but I have so many so many souls. Let me go level up a bit. And I, I will actually actually end this one this one then, but that's uh, Belfry Luna. I have a feeling I will go there. I will go there next time. No need Bearer of the curse. Seek so... Seek the... K lest this... No need to stand up there. So... Let's put one point in Viger to get some hit points, but after that I'm thinking... Actually, let's not. Let's just get Endurance. I want Stamina. I want to increase the Vitality and Endurance kind of together. On the other hand, getting a... Can I get one slot? No. I wonder how much I need for one slot. Maybe ten? It's getting expensive. Expensive with that, of course. Increasing, uh, instead of increasing dex, dex or strength would be good as well. But I kind of ha want to have these bases here, the endurance and vitality. Level seventy-seven. Yeah, not not having better merchants in my uh, disposal. It's really a uh, Bothersome. What will I what will I do with these souls? I think I will go talk to Beth. And 
And uh, maybe buy some pyromancies. Or something else she was selling. Not Beth, but Rosabeth, was it? Well, I guess one could call her Beth. Uh, could you spare me something to wear? Just put it here, and I'll change into it later. Uh, you asked about that later, yeah, sure. Mm. Do I have anything I... Not going to use. Well, probably, yeah, but uh, White Hollow Mage Rope. Drunk Lake Mages wore different garb depending on their sex. What function this served, however, is unknown. As with many old practices, this is a men's rope. I see. Tattered Cloth Rope. Rope favored by pyromancers. I kind of like that myself, if I need some resistances. Ah, well, let's uh, let's buy something from you. So you have the defenses, defense rings. I could buy those, and then you sell the temporary boosts, and then you sell the pyromancies. Hmm. Why don't you give me fire defense, and that's one. I think that's fine. I already have one fireball. Yeah, give me that anyway. Thanks. I will come and give you equipment later. Although... Be yeah. safe. Yeah, I will. I hope I will find some cloth or something. Some very light armor, like a sorcerer set or something. and Something like that I could give her. The... Pyromancy gear has uh, has good poison resistance, for example. Probably the best I have. It is the best I have, 43. And now I like... Well, actually, did I... I'm not sure if I had that already when I was in the gulch fighting the rotten, but... Yeah, I uh, I thank you for watching this one. Um, and next time it will be the Belfry, Belfry Luna. I'll be wearing this hat now because it gives item discovery, even though it looks a little silly on the on them on my night. But so be it. But uh, I thank you for watching. Really happy on getting the second great soul. So I have two more to go. And uh, to get. To get that, I need to get through at least one boss, and uh, then, uh, or maybe, maybe there's some path I have missed on the other areas, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, next time, uh, Belfry Luna, and uh, we'll see what's behind there, and uh, also the other Pharisees Lockstone used in the Lost Bastille, and then for the Lost Sinner boss. See you there. Take care. Bye bye.